So I'm going to show a new integration with Autosys and Airflow, specifically the uh, Amazon managed workflows for Apache Airflow, MWAA for short. And um, this uh, integration will use APIs that are provided by Amazon to uh, communicate with the Airflow instance running uh, in the cloud. So here you'll see that I have the uh, job definition, and here you all the uh, parameters that are necessary to communicate with um, MWAA, the endpoint, the auth endpoint, the uh, region, uh, access key, access secret, the DAG to execute, the, oh, you can specify an optional run ID, um, and the max retries is the monitor loop of how many times it will loop around and re-request the status. And the sleep interval is the, t the time it will wait between each of the retries. And the last thing here is a failure interval. And what the failure interval is used for is to control um, how the product behaves or the job behaves when there is some kind of network outage. So say the, um, the Amazon API goes down because they're failing over to another zone or something like that. And so it's unavailable temporarily. So what this will do is that if the API recovers within 30 seconds, this is in seconds, um, it will actually continue processing and the job won't be marked as failure. If does not recover within the time specified here, then the job will be marked as failure and you'll obviously like, you know, connection refused or network error or something in the logs. And the last thing here is the log level. So um, there are different log levels that you can control how much detail you will see inside the spool. Uh, the four is the error level. So you'll see just, you know, minimal messages plus any errors that show up. So in this particular case, I'm going to be running a DAG, which is called sleep. In my Amazon instance here, I have, you know, multiple DAGs defined. So you can see I have three and I'm going to be running this particular DAG. So when I execute the job in Autosys, you will see that it will start running and there'll be a run showing here. So I'm gonna kick the job off. And flip back over to my Airflow UI. If I refresh the page. You will see we should have something running and we do. So here's a running DAG. And uh, so this this will run for approximately 30 seconds. And over here, you'll see that the job has been marked as running now. And if we go into quick view, we can see also that the job is also marked as running. So once this job completes, so I will refresh over here. So now it's done running. The job over here will go to um, success. So I can forcefully refresh here and it's marked as success. And if I go back into quick view, I can actually now view the status over here if I refresh this. And you'll see that it's, you know, check marks the success here and on the status down here, it shows a success. So I can retrieve the spool file and we should see the run history of that particular run. So here you'll see it's um, it's executing. Um, these are the parameters that were specified. And here you see it's submitting the request. Uh, the state is running, it's retrying. And you'll notice that there's, um, that it takes three times and then the job went to success. And then um, the job is marked as complete and that means it's success. So um, if you look over here at the execution, because you'll notice I had specified a run, a custom run ID. So this is optional. Um, so if you look at the actual runs for that particular job, you'll notice it says the run ID and it has the run ID that I specified with some kind of timestamp after that. So this timestamp is necessary to, because the run ID has to be unique uh, against each run of the job. So the, um, the plugin extension will actually append a, um, a timestamp to the end of your run ID so that it's always unique.
So you can see here, I ran it three times and each time it has a unique uh, timestamp there. So from, from here, like you can either, uh, you could see the status of the, up to here. Um, if you actually wanted to go into more details, you can actually go into Airflow itself and look at the detailed logs or any details that you wanna see about the run from within Airflow. There is a limit to what I can actually access uh, from uh, Airflow through the API. So um, some of the more detailed stuff you can only see inside of the uh, Airflow um, UI itself. So uh, that, that's basically our integration with uh, Apache Airflow, which is running as a managed workflows um, for Apache Airflow.